Hello, Westfield. Welcome to an all-new Westfield episode of Westfield State News. I'm Taylor Beamenderfer. And I'm Aaron Sylvia. Now that juniors and seniors have made their schedules for the spring semester, it's time to start thinking about internships and applying for jobs after graduation. Luckily for communication students, the Career Center made that pretty easy. Let's send it over to Nicole Patterson to hear more about the communication networking night held in Scanlon Banquet Hall last week. The Westfield State Career Center hosted a communication networking night on Thursday, November 3rd, which was a great opportunity for students to meet and network with alum as well as potential employers in a speed dating format. The employers shared their past experiences and answered any questions that students had. I asked a few of them to share some words of advice for students who will soon be seeking employment. My best advice for you guys would be to, when you go to an interview, make sure that you're dressing professionally. Uh, you know, first impressions are everything. I love to get the chance to talk to students because it's never too early to apply for jobs, to get looking for jobs. Just be involved. Get, get some of the work done ahead of time. Get a nice portfolio built. Um, just don't be lazy because nobody wants to hire somebody who has nothing on their resume. So the number one thing I can say if you haven't had an internship already is to definitely do an internship and um, know the right people at that internship and respect those people. That is great advice to keep in mind when applying and interviewing for jobs, as well as when you're completing an internship. Be sure to follow the Westfield State Career Center's Facebook page for more updates on when their next networking night will be held, as well as other events. That's all for now. This has been Nicole Patterson reporting for Westfield State News. Thanks, Nicole. Be sure to follow the Career Center on Facebook and check out their website, which is available under the Academics tab right from the Westfield State homepage. It looks like they have a lot of job fairs and other useful events planned. In other campus news, the Black Student Union recently held their annual State of the Union Forum. This year, the forum focused on police action and the changing natures of law enforcement in wake of police brutalities. Sparking the Black Lives Matter movement, the discussion took place in front of a five-person board, including members of the Communications, Ethics and Gender Studies, and Law Studies majors, and offered students a chance to field questions to both the board and to the crowd. The night concluded with a set of questions of what efforts Westfield State University was making to ensure that issues faced by minority communities were addressed among the course material reviewed in the Law and Department syllabus. In answer to the question, the panel offered that any willing to review these policies shall be given the opportunity to drop by the offices of the Law Department to go over the issues in the detail they deserve. Overall, the night was informative, respectful, and proves that regardless of what occurs on the political level, grassroots organizations are pushing for positive change. If you're looking for some good entertainment on campus, you should go see Learned Ladies later this month. Let's send it over to some members of the cast to learn more about the production. Hi, my name is Andrew Ruiz, and I am playing Lacond in The Learned Ladies. Hi, I'm Ian. Uh, I'll be playing Vadius. And my role in it is Ariste. Um, the show is about uh, a bunch of learned women in 1670s France and how they cope with having a con man living in their house. I don't know what my cast members have said about it, but it is a 1670s play, I believe, from the Baroque period. A guy named Moliere from F France. He, uh... He was big on satires. Lacond is the romantic interest of the show. Uh, he wants to wed Henriette, another character in the show. There's half of the family that tends to think more in the 1950s style American family household, and then there are the people who exist in the 1670s world. It's gonna be a nice little goofy play. You should come see it, it's gonna be funny. Admission will be $3 for students. Uh, come see Learned Ladies. Uh, it's a funny one, it'll be a good one. <laughs> you, won't, you won't regret it. The Theater Arts Program will be performing Learned Ladies in the Ely Studio Theater, November 16th to November 19th. It looks like it's going to be a great show. Now, one of my favorite things about fall is coming to an end, but luckily it's going out with a bang. Friday night is senior night for the WSU football team, but it's also a special night for another group of people on campus and in our community. In honor of Veterans Day, Westfield State will be hosting a military appreciation night at the football game against Western Connecticut University this Friday night. The night begins with a Veterans Resource Fair at 5.30 and a tailgate at Horace Mann from 6 to 7 p.m. For more information about this fabulous event, you can contact Westfield State Athletics or the Westfield State Veterans Association. Okay, we know one of your favorite things about fall is football, but let's see what students on the green have to say about the fall season. My favorite thing about fall is apple cider donuts. My favorite thing about fall is pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. Oh, my favorite thing is making fun of people about how much pumpkin spice they have. 
The trees, because they're orange and yellow and red. So my favorite thing about fall is football season. Yeah, I love the Patriots. Uh, my favorite thing of the fall is definitely the changing of the leaves. Um, all the colors changing from the oranges um, down to the dark greens is really pretty, especially driving up to campus every day because I'm a commuter. My favorite thing about fall would definitely be the sweaters. I'm definitely going to have to go shopping pretty soon. It's starting to get cold out. Was that a snowflake that we just saw? Did you see that? I swear I just, okay. Well, yeah, I'll be going sweater shopping. My favorite thing about fall is the leaves changing. I don't like fall. What I like the most about fall is how it gets colder. Temperatures drop. You can use um, heavier clothes and you don't have to sweat as much. So my favorite thing about fall is the colorful trees and everything and the smell in the morning. Just walking around, it's like the greatest feeling in the world. I like the colorful leaves and pumpkins. Pumpkins are great. Pumpkin spice! My favorite thing about fall is probably the leaves and the foliage around New England. My favorite thing about fall is Halloween because that's my favorite holiday because you get to be anyone besides yourself and you get to dress up in crazy costumes and wear tons of makeup. And who doesn't love that? My favorite thing about fall is the sweaters. My favorite thing about fall is definitely the uh, apple cider donuts for free on campus. My favorite thing about fall is that the weather gets colder, so it's time for soup making. I really like the smells and the crisp fall air. <laughs> my favorite thing about fall is probably Thanksgiving, because that's when my family's all together again. Uh, my favorite thing about fall is probably like fall sweaters and flannels and the weather. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching our show. If you'd like to learn more and tune in again, you can find our show and other WSU TVD Club projects on YouTube by searching WSU TV Club. I'm Taylor Beamendurfer. And I'm Aaron Sylvia. Have a good one, WSU.